Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the beautiful new 308 new spec. We're in Valencia Auto Show, so if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified if you already haven't. And without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're in Valencia Auto Show as mentioned, and here is the beautiful new Peugeot 308 hybrid. Gorgeous, new, stunning design. You can now see the LED headlights as well. Well, the daytime running lights on the side is like the claws so uh let's check out this gorgeous white spec now it is very impressive massive step up for the peugeot and let's check the details so we have a metallic white color sorry for the flashing light on the top and here are the led headlights so you have those two lenses and a little claw going down there closed on the sides this is the gt line i believe so we have the uh, black with some chrome details uh, on the grill and a little air take on the bottom mostly on the top uh, new shield peugeot with a beautiful line new badge this is also what the radar is you have the 180 fisheye lens camera for parking front and rear didn't check the side mirrors but i think there's optional 360 also if you want that and of course 308 badge on the top now let's check the side here so the gt line comes with this side skirts also going so i filmed the green one on zurich auto show and today in spain valencia now uh same alloys gorgeous look these are the michelin I think pilot support I haven't checked so the tire dimension is uh 22540 r18 i gotta say i really like this detail for the, the lug nuts cover also have the shield on the sides there uh gorgeous looking gt line have the black side mirrors this is also piano black uh optional panel roof it's open in this case and then we have the focal speakers on the front have the lane assist camera below it's the rain and light center now these turn signals go up you can see them from the driver perspective as well and there's also a wide angle camera on the side mirror so we have a 360 parking system we have a blind spot warning there little dot now, driver's side has physical cylinder for the key. You can close or unlock from the inside. Keyless entry. Piano black trim on the GT line, at least on the bottom. And the B pillar. So this is the black roof, colored black. And then you have the tinted roof on the top, wind deflector. Big shark fin antenna on the top. Sorry for the lights, just really nothing I could do. So this is, this is a plug-in hybrid. Here's your Type 2 for AC slow charging. Now, plug-in hybrids are attendant, so you have a home charger. It really isn't practical when you need to rely on the public charging stations. So if you have a garage with a Shuko, this is an excellent solution. Now, gorgeous look from the rear. Amazing looking. I love these really sharp led headlights they just look amazing have turn signals on the bottom as well there's a lot of design the language in there french really made a lot of nice details inside there fog lights reverse lights uh fake exhaust mock-up although it doesn't look like an exhaust now the real exhaust is um, well, I honestly can't see it. Maybe you can see it. I think it's on the left. Might be wrong. And then look at this spoiler. It's kind of following the roof line. You have a stoplight on the top, tinted windows in the rear. And then you have the shield on the rear, 308 and hybrid. Over here, you press to open. I believe the license plates are white, yes. And you also have the little camera on the rear with a washing nozzle. Let's open it up. 
It's manual. If I back up, you can see the whole car. Opens very tall, nice and practical, wide opening, practical city hatchback. You can close it manually on the top. Have this stopper so there's no bumping around. You have these, you can remove them. You can put an umbrella here, a longer umbrella. Now inside you have a white light, white coal light on the left. Also with this net. It's kind of closed on the sides. You have tether points on each four sides. Now over here we have like five fingers of height and then you can open up additional. Uh, you can see here in subwoofer, probably the amplifier somewhere on the front and you have the uh, battery. So this is where the battery is and then you have the patching kit. So that's the battery and a subwoofer and it's a practical car. Uh, you can knock down the seat 60, 40. You can open a middle compartment from the inside and uh, I didn't see the room for emergency triangle there, but let's close it up. Oh, just a moment. So there's the button. And just to show you through from this angle, it's a really gorgeous spec. Now let's get on the rear. Again, tinted windows. I really like this white color. Excellent opening and closing sound. The doors open fairly wide. I think the front open wider. So you can put a child seat here. Seals, double sealing, that's excellent. You can switch this to lock from the inside for the kids. Our plastics on the rear have some sort of silver finish, focal speakers, nice metal finish. Nice handles. This is in soft with some green contrast stitching. Ball area. There's a nice speaker here. And these are really interesting seats and really interesting interior. So it's some sort of either blue or green color. So you have the textile. You have the leather. Contrast stitching. Perforated in the middle. Nicely profiled. Now if I lower this one down so just a second that's in the way but you can see the space inside some people browsing the car as well it's kind of hard doing this with one hand but there I managed and have this to hold the buckle uh, isofix is in there now let's get inside. Now I was on the front and adjusted the seat for myself. Also may I add nice carpets with contrast stitching. Uh, lowest, probably the lowest position, uh, kind of tight and I can fit. But have in mind, I'm a tall person. If I was sitting front, this is the space. If someone average was sitting, I would have more knee room on the rear. Now you have the air vents here. Two USB A, one for fast charging, one for media, and a little copy there. Now, since this fell down, uh, you have the adjustable cup holders. Let me just turn on some lights. You can see now better. Put a maybe tablet here. This is a rubber mat, and it's quite nice. You can open from here. There's a little um, mechanism there. So you just have to reach in with your fingers to open it or close it. On the top, have these touch lights. And the seats are very comfortable, very nicely profiled. Uh, French engineers have uh, mastered those. Uh, tall headrests, but if they're down, you can see quite okay. There's a little blind spot in the seat pillar, but the windows are nice and long. They're kind of short, but they are long. And then. Uh, checking the front seats, of course you have the net here, some cover, again gorgeous leather you can hear adjust for the headrest on the front seats. Let's hear the closing sound. 
Good closing sound, have in mind the roof is open. And for the two meter tall person, uh, straight back, problem for the head. Five is an average, like let's say 180 or 190. Uh, I would be okay. They tried to maximize the space. It goes like in there, but uh, it's uh, the sloping roof. So, uh, and look at the front and the top. Let's get on the front. So yeah, before I just go to the front, uh, not adjustable seat belt on the front and no hooks either here. It's just slowly closing. No here, they could have added some hooks and all four sides have the handles on the top. Still an excellent car, despite some uh, smaller cons. Excellent opening and closing sound and the front doors open a lot wider. Now they are kind of, you know, <laughs> moving so watch out not to hit other people's cars. And on the front, also double ceiling, excellent. Soft plastics on the front. I'm not sure if these are ambient lights. See this? Might be. Uh, leather, some hard plastic. This is covered with leather when you touch and lean. Power windows, all automatic windows. Power windows, you can lock the rear. And in the, oh, enclose or unlock, lock or unlock the car from the inside. Again, nice contrast green stitching. Uh, some carpets on the front doors for the water bottles. Nice big speaker here. And Peugeot aluminum doorstep. Here, here's your tire pressure information. And sport aluminum paddles. Lumbar, forward, backwards, tilt. And you can, there's a little button there. You can extend this for your knees. Not big bolsters here, they're kind of bigger here, but again, interesting leather, although it's kind of shiny. Uh, perforated on the middle. And the detail I really love is the Peugeot badge or shield. This is the place where you can put your key if you need to connect it. Traction control off. You're gonna uh, preheat the car, I guess. It's plug-in hybrid and open the fuel cap, which is closed. And Steering column is manual. Uh, this is the look on the top, and let's hop inside. Check this beauty. Okay, closing sound of the doors. Good. Switching to wide lens, and this is the point of view. So it looks very, very nice. Zooming in. <clears throat> Quick look at the steering wheel. Same design, flat on the top and bottom, GT line, green contrast stitching, peripheral leather on the sides. Now you cannot control anymore the um, infotainment options through the steering wheel. You need to do it through the infotainment, new infotainment, improved one, speed limiter, cruise and control, uh, distance, and so on. Voice commands, phone calls, and your volume. With the new Peugeot Shield, I really like this one. What do you think, guys? Type your comments below. I was kind of skeptical, but I really like this one. And I think I can back up a little bit there. And uh, just checking the materials. Soft, some plastic. Uh, a little piano black here. Round. Not a huge fan, but I guess it's manageable. I can maybe swallow that one. Uh, focal speakers on the eight pillars, high quality finished metal, and on the top there. Again, contrast stitching, this is all soft, soft, and then our plastics there. And now you have some air vents there, extending towards the co-passenger. And check the glove compartment, slowly opening. Nice flint inside, you have a little Peugeot book, you have the LED light, and that's very spacious and practical. Nice big screens, two screens, with physical shortcuts on the bottom, car shortcut, and uh, you have climate shortcut, and you have here maximum below, 
close rear air circulation, uh, rear defrost, climate off, and hazards. We can see them through the mirrors. And over here on the sides, quite excellent. And you have this physical knob, you can press to mute, start, stop. You have a little ambient light here, wireless charging rubber mat, a new automatic, very simple to use, love this, shift by wire, park, uh, reverse neutral drive, and you have brake for recuperation on the plug-in hybrid. We have some leather on the sides there. Yeah, look at this, high quality finish. Driving modes, electronic parking brake, unfortunately no auto hold. As far as I know, maybe there's an infotainment, but I haven't found it. Uh, another rubber mat here and a li light. So this is might be for the driver and then for the passenger. You put a phone there, full outlet and a USB-A for media. That's nicely illuminated. And then you have this uh, shutter with adjustable cup holders to the rubber mat underneath. And this is also kind of rubbery-ish. But I like this, there's no lever, it just opens the space practical and then maybe another place for a smartphone or something. And then you have this really soft uh, middle armrest. You press a button, kind of slowly opens up, have a um, fair enough space, rubber mat, USB A. And there's something here, but I can't, I don't really don't know what this is. And so if you have a smartphone, there's a rubber here, so it won't squash your cable if you have something in the middle. So I think I saw this in Mercedes. I can say, uh, at least I don't know who got this idea first. Type in the comments below if you do know. And the seats again, very comfy, nicely profiled. Uh, checking the top, you have a nice dark uh, roof, GT. Now we have a baseless mirror. Good overview on the rear through the side mirrors as well. This is sort of my eye level. You can see the hood a little bit. Good overview on the back. That might be a blind spot, but that's why you have those blind spot warning. In your side mirrors, on the top you have the airbag, uh, excuse me, airbag. Uh, yeah, airbag information and uh, seat belt information. And you have these nice touch lights. So let me check here. There we go. So quite nice. But someone, how you? They're off for open doors. Okay, and over here is the controls for the for the window. Okay, and it has a sh it has a shade right there. So excellent soundproof. Oh, this one's manual. Okay, and then you can open it up. Uh, yeah, so you can close this up, but only to uh, this point. So I guess when you close, you can close it all the way. Then if you want, you can just open it all the way for more light in the cabin. And uh, emergency button service calls. To wrap it up here, you have a nice document holder and a large uh, beauty mirror with the white LED lights. And let me see if this extends. Nope, so this area is shining. It doesn't really cover a lot, but maybe something to add in the future. And a uh, two meter tall person, 6.6, .6, plenty of headroom despite the glass roof on the top. Okay, uh, let's show you the glimpse of the interior. So we have a nice 3D cockpit, you can see here if I move the camera. There we go. It's a nice layout. There's a screen on the top there. It's gonna reflect uh, stuff over a plexiglass and there's another screen on the background. Now, if you wanna see the full infotainment here, uh, I've filmed it in Swiss, but just a quick overview. This is the home screen. You have three dots on the top. You have your climate controls on the side, uh, media, and sort of a um, shortcut for the maps. You have here for the media shortcut. Then you have players, library, settings, and so on. Climate control. 
Here's the classical climate, um, heated seats. There's a massage option as well. And over here you can have like the soft, medium, strong AC setting. You can pull this menu to the side. And here you have the navigation. I gotta say massive improvement. This infotainment is responsive. The previous one was kind of laggy. So when we're in Spain, once again, uh, beautiful. This loads fairly fast. Um, and we're in Valencia, Spain. So there you go. Excellent. Uh, takes it a minute to load. I'm from Croatia, by the way, if you're new to the channel. Recenter, you have 3D buildings. And so obviously you have the day mode. Oh, excuse me, just realized. Uh, so it has a day mode and the night mode. So when you're close to the screen, if it changes to day and night, it's kind of, um, also have weather information here. It, it kind of shifts the brightness, the camera kind of struggles. But um, this is a massive improvement. Of course, you have your phone calls, Wi-Fi inside the car, Bluetooth, you, have a, you can have multiple profiles have Apple Car CarPlay and Android Auto. And over here you have uh, shortcuts on the top. Here's for the uh, e-manager. You can see the battery, it's charging, uh, e-charge, you can program the car and then e-save. I guess this would use the petrol engine if you put it to max. It's gonna use the petrol to charge the battery, but it's gonna drive your consumption crazy. So uh, just charge your car at home. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Over here you have the massage options, uh, which is quite nice. You can choose multiple uh, patterns of massage you want. It's a feature I wish I had in my Tesla, to be honest. And uh, that's it, that's the infotainment. The screen is very responsive and everything uh, works awesome. A great improvement. There is a way here, apps, uh, shortcuts, so these are all shortcuts. Uh, there are, let me just see here, before I wrap it up. No, 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 not this. There are some tutorials, stuff like that. Uh, let me just check here. Settings. Uh, brightness, audio vehicle. There's over the air updates now. Uh, so you can change this one. Just let me see if I can find it here. So customization, display customization, you can customize here. And now you can see here, you have the RPM, you have the layout here. So let me just switch. So this is the first layout. And then this is the second layout on the maps. And this is the movie power options. So there you go. And there you go. First one, second one, and the third one. How cool is that? Really like the E3D cockpit. Of course, you can play here with the widgets, have different settings. You can play with this one. You can adapt your infotainment system to your personal preferences. Once again, applications, and then you go to the settings and then customization, screen color. So you can have here blue thing, have the white theme and the green theme. Interior color. So as you can see, that's supposed to be ambient lights, but let's see if I open the doors. Nothing's really happening. You don't have the key by the way, so that might be the reason why. And the interior cluster, the interior color, excuse me. Yeah, but nothing's happening, unfortunately. I'm sure it works. Like the sports center exterior, yeah, stuff like that. Okay, uh, wrapping it up there. Pop the bonnet. Like to be detailed, so smash the thumbs up. Oh, sorry for the flash. It's just a certain angle, the 
lights on the top reflect uh, bounce off rapidly this is the opening mechanism left side of the 308 dash and uh, blue thing is your washer fluid that one uh, pure tech uh, in combination with the electric setup so have the sound and heat insulator there Nonetheless, uh, the rest leave it to the mechanics closes perfectly if you drop it and that's the new gorgeous 308 tell me in the comments how do you like it so everyone thank you for watching uh, be a cool person smash the like button leave a comment below how do you like the new 308 and i'm gonna see you in the next video stay safe bye